don't be fooled by the shirt because I'm wearing pajama bottoms. YouTuber life. That's how we film. We make a presentable shirt, but like pajama pants. Hey guys, so today I'm going to be showing you my TBR for the hashtag TBR Takedown 2.0 and this is hosted by Shannon at Leaning Lights and it runs from July 25th to July 31st and there's challenges and it's a lot of fun. It's really low key, like there's no pressure. Like if you read one book, that's totally fine. I didn't participate in the first TBR Takedown. I'm not sure why, but I just didn't. Um, but I'm very excited for this one. I can't wait to read a bunch and I'm just gonna show you my TBR. All right, so I have my notebook right here and all the books that I wanna read. Some of them are undecided just because I don't really know exactly what I'm gonna read, but I have a little, um, I have like two options for some of them. I'm currently reading A Court of Thorns and Roses by Sarah J. Moss and P.S. I Still Love You by Jenny Han. Again, I'm reading this with Zach. All right, so these might make an appearance in the readathon if I don't finish them. Let's just get started, I guess. I have all my books laid out here, all my possible books. So the first challenge is read a first book in a series. For that challenge, I'm reading The Unbecoming of Mara Dyer by Michelle Hodkin. And you guys know that this is my favorite series or trilogy ever. And so I'm really excited to be reading the first book again. The next challenge is read a sequel book in a series and for this I have two options. So the first option I have in my original option was Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. I reread the first book last month and I want to reread this one before I read the rest of the series for the first time. I know I could read this pretty quickly. Or the other option that I just actually got in the mail which I filmed an unboxing for. It's Never Never Part 2 by Colleen Hoover and Taryn Fisher, and this is a really small book, and I know that I can read it in, like, one sitting. For the next challenge, it is a read a book out of your comfort zone, and for this one, I chose a very crazy book for a readathon, and then, like, kind of like a normal book. So my original book, and you guys are gonna, like, flip when you see this, be like, Anna, this is a readathon, but... I'm, I'm not planning on reading the whole thing if I plan on reading this. I just want to start it, and I'll be fine with that. And that is A Clash of Kings by George R. R. Martin. Chill, calm down. I'm not wanting to read this whole thing during the readathon because I doubt that I would be able to do that. I just want to like at least get like through a good chunk of it. So this was one of it for out of my comfort zone because it's huge and it's always daunting want, like starting these books but then once you get into it it's like amazing. If I get up to pay 200, boom, challenge completed. And plus like this is a short book and I remember getting through Game of Thrones fairly quickly, so I'm sure I can make, like, good progress in it. Yo, it's future Anna here. What's up? Um, just on the note on A Clash of Kings, I just found out this morning through uh, Instagram. I commented on someone's Instagram that they were reading Game of uh, Clash of Kings for TBR Takedown, and they informed me that there is a read Game of Thrones, like, read along uh with a few people on instagram so i'll insert the picture right here it's, it's this um where pretty much two instagrammers bookstagrammers are hosting a read game of thrones read along and so they're reading a clash of kings from july 26th to august 16th so um, there's challenges and giveaways so if you wanted to join that too i just thought i'd let you know i'll leave links to everything down below but yeah if I am going to read Clash of Kings which I think I will do now that I know about this read along um it's gonna be for this right here so yeah back to past Anna Ooh. this is one of the options but if I kind of give up on that and don't want to do that anymore I'm going to read you'll see my it's my kindle the reason this would be for out of my comfort zone is because I don't read a lot of this genre and it is new adult. It is The Vincent Boys by Abby Glines and let me just turn down this. And I'm saying this is out of my comfort zone is because I don't read a lot of new adult. The only new adult I've read is from uh, Colleen Hoover and I love Colleen Hoover's books. They're so good. Uh, speaking of, I actually have samples of Confess and Ugly Love on this so I might read those during readathon just for fun. The next challenge is On Your Shelf for Over a Year and originally I was thinking of reading Clockwork Pin Prince by Cassandra Clare, either this one, Angel Fall by Susan E. And I've heard so many great things about this book that I cannot wait to pick it up. Um, it's part of the Penryn and the End of Days trilogy, and yeah, I've heard a lot of great things about it, and it is like 280-ish pages. I bought this in 2012, I'm pretty sure, like a while ago, so it's been on my shelf for way over a year. And the last the last challenge is most recently hauled book and I had originally had 
as you can see, I've, I've changed my TBR. I originally had Just One Year by Gail Foreman because while I was making my TBR, that was part of the most recent haul that I did. But my Amazon order just came in today, so I feel obligated to change my TBR. So I'm kind of bending that rule a bit. So I'm just going to stick with Just One Year, honestly, even though it's like two hauls ago because I bought a bunch of books. I think I'm just going to stick with Just One Year because I know I'll read it quickly. I read the first one in a day and I'm cheating a bit, but... We can just consider it a big book haul. That's my TBR for the TBR takedown. I gave myself a lot of options. I know I mentioned like a bunch of books and some crazy books, but I just wanted to give myself a lot of flexibility and a lot of room. And who knows, maybe I'll even go out of that TBR, but I kind of don't want to. I want to want to keep it there. My biggest goal is to read five books and I think I can do it. Also I feel like I'm going to be on a Kindle high and I'm just going to be a reading machine on my Kindle and I love that it can tell you how long it'll take you to finish your chapter or the book so that will really help me out during the readathon because then I know like oh I can finish this book by this hour. You know what I mean? That's pretty cool. Thanks Kindle for that. Uh, if you're participating in the TBR takedown let me know down below in the comments and if you have a TBR video link it because I love watching readathon TBRs. Um, also follow me on Twitter because I'll probably be doing like updates there and we can chat so if you're participating as well we can chat on Twitter throughout the day. I'm really excited for this readathon to start guys like I cannot wait to just read. Thank you guys for watching and again leave a comment with a link to your TBR or if you're participating and chat with me on Twitter and on Instagram and just like let's be social guys let's talk I want to talk to you Pedal down the book yeah. all right thank front. you guys for watching and we'll see you guys next time Bye. I got this 8990 piss is champ flat bill black store the cap with the hologram tags white mag rims red rubber tires chain frame pegs grip shit to my supplier dope man attire give me about an hour and I have it clicking ticking